Hello and welcome to my channel. Microsoft has confirmed a zero-day vulnerability that is under active exploitation. The cyber attack has also been confirmed by the U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, which has added the security issue to the known exploited vulnerability catalog and advised it poses significant risks with a recommendation to take appropriate remediation measures and update now. If you are new to this channel, I am Bill Osolinski, a Certified Information System Security Professional with 30 years of experience. The December round of Patch Tuesday vulnerability fixes has been released by Microsoft, and among the 72 vulnerabilities this month, the one that needs your full attention right now is CVE-2024-49138. Not much is known about the vulnerability itself as is often the case with such zero-day issues, since details held back and to as many users as possible have had the opportunity to patch against the exploit. However, what we do know is that it's a heap-based buffer overflow vulnerability, a memory security issue in the Microsoft Windows common log file system driver. What we know is also is that it's very widespread among all Windows OS editions going all the way back to Windows Server 2008. The Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency also sees this as a top priority, having added it to their known exploited vulnerabilities catalog, along with stating that it strongly urges all organizations to reduce their exposure to cyber attacks, prioritizing timely remediation of this critical issue. Given that Microsoft has said that it has evidence of in the wild exploitation and public disclosure for CVE 2024 49138, it's no wonder that this is being seen as a critical security moment for Windows users. This is important because Windows common log file system exploits are a favorite among cyber criminals, especially those participating in the ransomware sector. Unfortunately, expect more common log file system zero day vulnerabilities to emerge in the future, at least until Microsoft performs a full replacement of the aging CLFS code base instead of offering spot fixes for specific flaws. In the meantime, all Windows users are urged to update now. That's all for this presentation. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.